Hi, this is one of a few videos that I've made um, <clears throat> because somebody was asking me about progression in agility and how to progress from the first simple stages. So I thought I'd just make a, maybe two or three um, just to show you. Uh, please note that I am not a professional trainer. My horse is not a professional agility horse. Uh, we just love to have a, have a go and uh, we've had quite a lot of fun. Um, so it's good to share share the knowledge let everybody else have a bit more fun progression so in a normal agility competition you'd just be required to walk around the cones in a figure of eight um, with a nice loose rope i do find it's better to do big circles around the cones keep them the same size but uh, bigger is better because otherwise the horse sometimes tries to cut inside you so i'll just show you the normal way first but by putting my hand out wide he stays over a little bit better so the aim eventually would be it would be to do this at liberty so you have to they have to this is when you start to do things like this is probably the first time that you've asked them to go away from you and that's quite hard normally you're asking them to follow you but to send them away is a whole new skill so you wouldn't expect them to do that round the cones on the lead rope to start with um, straight away so you break it down by doing a cone at a time and you'll find probably that your horse is better one way than the other so use that way first and most to get them started so max goes off on the left rein better so I stand on the left of him and I send him off that in that direction. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And then to send him off on the right rein, I stand on the right hand side of him and direct him that way. And he understands a whirling rope means move on. You can see how he's not so good this way. But when you're training it really doesn't matter how much you help them or where you stand or where you put your feet. You can move around. Uh, ultimately you'd want to stand still but to start with it really doesn't matter. You've got to break things down so that they understand that, you, that what you want them to do basically. So let's try that again. much the stage that Max is at anyway with this he's not a he's not a seasoned trek horse or anything like that so we don't expect miracles fun all fun all when you've got them happily going round both cones then you can try and link it together and even then, I still hop from side to side of him so he understands which way he's actually going. So we'll try and put those together now. Back up. Okay, Max. And each time I send him through, when I feel he's getting more and more the hang of it, then I'll come a little bit further away from the cone, so he has to try a little bit harder on his own. Eventually you would be able to do that from the end of the rope, standing still, somewhere here, without moving your feet, and the step on from that would be liberty. Obviously I'm not doing that with Max now because he's not got that far, but at least that breaks it down a bit and shows you kind of what you're aiming for. S-bend progression. 
as you can see what I've got here is not an S bend it's more of a U bend it's like the top end of an S bend it's really useful for training because uh, doing a whole S bend being sent away coming back sending away coming back which is your progression is really really quite hard for a horse to understand so if you break it down to what is effectively the top end of an S bend and just use that to start with uh, it's a lot easier for the horse to understand so in a normal competition you would just be required to walk through the S bend calmly with your horse behind you as like this Obviously it's best to do it in both directions so they understand always the same way. So what you're aiming for with the progression is to stand here and to be able to wait, to be able to send a horse through the U-bend without you moving your feet. But that's a lot to ask to start with, so you break it down by initially almost looking as though you're going to walk through here with him but at the last minute you're going to step over the poles and ask him to carry on walking so good. So you see the stop, he stopped, he kicked a pole uh, and you'll get all that kind of thing as they're learning. Um, so it's just a matter of keep on trying, directing them more, not being afraid to get hold of them here and going no that way rather than trying to be out here all the time which is eventually what you're trying to do. So I'll try now, another car, I'll try now and, and send him without moving my feet because he's got a little bit better at this now so I'm hoping that he can actually do it on his own. You can see how he's just not quite ready for that um, but obviously it's so obvious that he's not quite ready for that so you go back a step you go back to taking him more with you going with him a little bit more uh, until he gets the hang of it a bit better 